I'm here with Linnea from the Baja team here in Michigan. Uh, you guys had driver training today. Yeah. How did it go? Uh, it was pretty good. Um, it was a little muddy, um, but we made it work. We were able to get everyone in. And Did yeah. you pick a driver? We haven't yet. We're going to do that after this. So everybody tests the car to see, to try to be the driver? Yeah. So yesterday we had kind of like a practice session where everyone got uh, 25 minutes in the car uh, okay. to feel it out. Um, and then today we did like time trials. Um, so I'll go and look at the numbers after this uh -huh. and then we'll go in a meeting and talk about it. Are you guys going to all, co all of the competitions? Yeah. All right. Is there a location you're most excited for? Um, I'm excited for Michigan. Yeah. It's like uh, here, I mean, here local. Uh, I'm yeah. excited to see um, the track they put together. And Are you from Michigan? No, I'm from California. Okay. What brought you to the University of Michigan? I just had, like saw it online and applied and knew it was a really good engineering school. Um, and in applying, I saw like the Baja team and thought it was really cool um, right. and what, something I wanted to join when I came here. All right. So were you a team member since you were a freshman? Yep. And what year are you now? Uh, I'm a senior now. Okay. Yep. Last year? Yep. Are you sad to leave this team behind? A little bit. Yeah. Um, definitely. It'll be weird having a lot of free time. <laughs> I was going to say. But yeah. How many hours do you spend in the workshop? Too many. Uh, yeah. Probably like 45 a week. Okay. So after you graduate, will you volunteer for these competitions? Absolutely. Are uh, you lying to me? Sorry? Are no. you just lying? No. Okay. I'm like, hopefully there's like, they keep having comps on the West Coast because I'm moving out back out to uh, California. So definitely would be like more than happy to go out to like all of the ones I can and volunteer. So the car is, I'm guessing, pretty much done, right? Um, no, our, no. this upcoming year, uh, the frame is currently out at powder coat, so okay. it's not here. Oh, um, is this the old car? This is our old car. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what are you doing right now with the new car again? Um, the frame we finished up a few weeks ago and it's currently out getting powder coated. Okay. Um, we're just doing a big machining push to get, um, all of our components, uh, ready in time for a car done in the end of February. Okay. So what's well, all the work that goes into get to the point you're at now for the car? There's been a lot, um, pretty much all of first semester is design work um, and getting the design for the car finalized. Um, and then starting around December, um, we start manufacturing, especially on like the CNC's. Um, so that hopefully um, in a few weeks, we'll have all of our parts ready to go. How similar is this car to your new car? If you're test driving on this car? Yeah, it's similar in some ways and it's very different in others. Okay. Um, I'm really excited to see all the changes we made like come to life and see how it compares. Um, but there's definitely some, some big changes we made. Yeah. And, uh, oh, it seems like you guys do pretty well competition with all these trophies. Yeah. Are you going to get another show? Uh, probably not. I think the Wilson Center would be not happy if we expanded into more space. Because <laughs> <laughs> we also saw your Volvo trophy in, uh, Oh, yeah. Out over to there. the front. Yeah. yeah. You have trophies everywhere. Do so you have a favorite dynamic event at the competitions? I feel like S&T is the most exciting. We typically don't do so hot in it, but it's still a fun time. Um, and I think really puts the cars to the test. And so it's like fun to see how we like stack up in that event yeah. compared to other teams. Uh, would you have a least favorite one? Sled pull. Sled pull. I like sled pull. <laughs> uh, it's either that or mountain climb, hill climb, right? Yeah, uh, it's like, like, yeah, it's sled pull or hill climb. Do you like hill climb? We tend more. to do better in hill climb than we do sled pull. Um, so yeah, although they haven't been doing as much um no hill climb recently okay. but this the next year or this uh, upcoming season we'll have two of them so so you're ready coding, for it yeah cool nice. to get back into it nice and what about endurance is that you like endurance yeah i love endurance especially when it's not stressful yeah um it's really nice to be able to like hang out at our paddock <laughs> and watch all the cars run um but i don't know even the moments when we break down and have to fix it i think it shows a lot about our team and everyone really comes together and it's always a great time yeah so Baja is the only one where you can fix the car after yeah. or during the endurance. It, how hectic is it once you get the car back to the paddock? Is it? It's very, we like, we always prep our team like beforehand. Like if something does happen, just be prepared for it to be chaotic and like stay out of the way. Um, okay. And so it's usually like pretty good. Um, and we have like the person that's the most knowledgeable in the subsystem that broke working on it and to fix it. Okay. Um, so we're usually pretty efficient with it. Um, but it's still always super chaotic. <laughs> yeah. How many graduating seniors are there? And is there enough people coming up, do you think, that can keep this team going and being a top team? Yeah. I mean, my, like, freshman year was, like, the year right after COVID. And so I think we were hit pretty hard. So there's only, like, four graduating seniors this year. Okay. Um, and I'm the only one that's been on the team all four years. So um, it's definitely been tough. But 
our junior class is huge and like they're incredible. So I have full confidence that next year they'll be able to to continue on and making a great car. Good. And do you pass your knowledge down to them? And how, would you, how do you do that? Um, we have like transition documents and stuff like that. And we'll hold meetings at the end of the season um, in order to hopefully like get the, the next class up to speed. Although we can't always do a perfect job. And so there's some gaps they have to fill in on their own on the fly. But um, yeah, we try to um, pass that knowledge down as best we can and document everything that we go through throughout the year. Um, so that hopefully next year, um, if they have any questions, they can easily reference anything. And uh, what's the team dynamic? You guys all close? Yeah, we're like super close. We just because of how much time we spend here, like we all become super close friends and hang out with each other outside of the shop. Okay. And it seems like not a lot of time outside of the shop though, right? Yeah. The, the little time we do have outside mm-hmm. of the shop, we, we like spend it together. We'll do movie nights and stuff. So is this like a year long thing that you guys do or do you get su- like the summer off and then you hit it hard in the fall? Yeah. We usually summer like after like, uh, like the May comp this year and like the June comp last year. We do have like a little bit of a break in the summer, especially just because everyone's off of their internships kind of doing their own thing um, um so we ha- do a little bit during the summer but like when we come back in august that's when we really like hit the ground running okay get started on stuff how do you uh recruit team members um we have there's a few events that the university puts on where we like table and show off the car um and try to get people to join so we'll show up to those and just try to retain as many people as we can from that and like some people figure out about us in other ways like i found out about us before i like applied here so okay. um yeah i just kind of see that Nice. And you get a lot of support from the university? Yeah, we yeah. do. Like a large majority of the funding comes from like the College of Engineering. So we're super oh. grateful for them. And just like this entire facility is put on by the university and the College of Engineering. And we wouldn't be able to do any of this without them. So yeah. nice. School rival? Um, in terms of like comp itself and like what cars like the most competitive with us, it's ETS. Um, but we're, we're good friends with them. We hang out with them. We try to hang out with them after like every competition. Yeah. Um, they're awesome. They're yeah. Kept it super interesting and very stressful. So what's the coolest thing that you learned doing this? I was a gearbox lead last year. Um, and so I designed the entirety of our gearbox and like beginning of the four wheel drive system. Um, and so I really learned how to like actually design a gear train that was like applied to a whole vehicle and how to integrate that with other components on the car, like the CVT and like the rear half shafts. Um, and so I think that I've like learned the most from being gearbox lead and I've been able to actually apply stuff I've learned in classes to the gearbox or like sometimes like I would design my gear train and then like two weeks later in my classes they talked about how to do it oh uh, so I think I've like definitely learned the most from that and just like been able to apply so much of like my knowledge and soul to that so He visited your workshop back in February and talked to your, I think, your current team captain. Uh, and now I'm with the second team captain. Uh, does she teach you anything that uh, you're going to take into next year? Tons. Uh, so our current captain, Linnea, and I have been friends since I joined the team. Um, you know, we're she's taught me so much just from the design side, from, like, the, the leadership side. She's been awesome. She's been doing a ton for the team and, you know, putting a ton of hours and, yeah, um, definitely tons of lessons learned from her. She also taught me how to rock climb, which is awesome. So that's, that's pretty cool. yeah, it's helpful. And you said you were out the out in the California event. How'd your team do there? Um, we did pretty well. We got fourth overall, which is awesome. Um, we uh, we had some engine issues in endurance, which kind of put a hamper on our our thing because we just couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, thankfully, we think we've pinpointed it since then, and uh, we've you know we haven't had those issues since. So hoping to do even better here. Yeah, so. yeah, feeling better. Yeah, yeah, feeling better.